Hi, I'm James Scully, a special edition of Turf Talk at Black Eyed Susan Day at Pimlico, joined by John Simon and John. Uh, 40... the, the mortally wounded John Simon <laughs> after a long day of handicapping wars. Yes, uh, 47,000 people at Pimlico today. Great day of racing. Go Maggie Go won the Black Eyed Susan. Ben's Cat, thrilling uh, victory. 10-year-old Ben's Cat, uh, 32nd win and from his 55th start. Uh, what are some of your uh, highlights? Those are the greatest highlights you can imagine. I mean, Ben's Cat was, has been a local hero for a really long time, but as he's aged, like the finest wine that you can imagine from Rothschild, at 10 years old, he is as great as ever. This was such a spectacular performance. Rocket Heat came in from the West Coast with blazing speed. And Spring to the Sky, who was a great hard knocker, first time gelding, is coming up on the outside. They are flying. And here's Ben's cat, 10 years old, splits between two horses, both of them, right near the finish line, gets his head up, stops the clock at 56 seconds for a 10-year-old. That's whistling at Biblico. I think, I'd have to double check it, I'm pretty sure this is Ben's cat's 28th stakes victory. And there's a lot of difference of opinion among the people who vote for the Hall of Fame. I am a Hall of Fame voter. And a lot of people will, will take points away from this horse for never having run in the Breeders' Cup. To me, this is a Hall of Fame horse. 28 stakes wins, $2.5 million, primarily term sprinting. You don't get horses. He's, it's a new paradigm. Yes. There's nobody else that's doing what he's done. Absolutely. I mean, you're, you're right. It looked like he was in trouble for sure, an upper stretch. And when he got through there, it, you could just feel the crowd. I mean, the building rock and yeah. his celebration. I mean, even if you didn't bet Ben's cat, the place, yeah. everybody was cheering him on uh, when he won. And uh, it was a special moment. Uh, and it's great to see the now Hall of Fame trainer King Leatherberry in the winner's circle yeah. and he goes this horse is my salvation who talks like that yeah. he's usually yeah. a pretty Argu jaded kind of guy arguably the best uh, turf sprinter ever you know that thing ever. That's it. yeah and that's, that's not a to qualifier fame. for all the fame right. I'll be happy if everybody comes on here and argues with me about it I'll take that I'll take that argument up I thought go Maggie go I mean great tactics by Louise Saez putting her on the lead uh, you know the the the, the top three were one, two, and four going into the back stretch. There were no closers uh, impacted that race, and that was just a brilliant ride by Philly that had been such a confirmed closer on paper in her first three starts. That horse murdered me because that was my K Kentucky Oaks horse. I loved that horse and Paola Queen coming out of the Gulfstream Park Oaks. Today, I really thought Dothraki Queen for Ken McPeak was the right horse. I mean, if you watch the replay of the race, the horse is just surging through the lane. But if you go back and do a replay and look at the chart, there's a 25 second, and you, you pointed this out to me earlier, 25 second, change, second, quarter. second quarter, it compromised the Thraki Queens. And Lake land over sea. And land over sea, so on. But more, I think, yeah. the Thraki, that green horse was really flying. And so, I mean, Romans, Romans, exacta. Yeah, and I absolutely. told you the second one with, that looked horrible on paper was live. I brought a good fit to Songbird in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. Uh, all Chocolate won the Lair DuPont. Uh, I thought that was an exceptional performance. Yeah, really came flying, uh, real in the speed in that race. And uh, so, any, some others there. Um, who was another one that you were wanted to talk about? Uh, <laughs> gone I, South. Uh, gone away, gone Go, away. Uh, gone, gone away. And I really loved this horse that Bill Mott had that only had one start and came from Wessex, the, Wessex yeah. from the 14 post. What a, what an excellent horse to do that. I think what I, I think is is that the Hilltop Stakes will prove to be one of the key races that right. comes out of this Black Eyed Susan today. I thought that. I thought that was a phenomenal race. People should watch horses coming out of that race as they come back. Well, we're looking forward to tomorrow. John will be back. We'll, we're going to shoot a podcast early and a podcast after the Preakness. Looking forward to a great day of racing. And thanks, John, for being part of a Turf Talk from the Pimlico. Outstanding.